Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm sat outside and I'm on my balcony and you can probably see from around me and all the green things that you see behind me, I actually have a balcony garden. Now, if you didn't already know, I recorded a balcony garden tour a few months ago and I'll link it up in the cards right now so you can actually go have a look at that video first. But that video gives you an explanation of everything that I'm growing in my balcony, all the things that I'm trying to, you know, make from seed to, to fruit on a London balcony. I don't have that much space, but I am very keen on growing my own fruit and veg. And so because of that, I have grown lots of different things today. And as you can see in front of me, these are actually my red onions. Now, red onions, when you can usually harvest them is see how they've kind of like flopped over? That is a sign of that it's time to harvest. So a lot of the other fruit and veg that you see behind me, like the peppers, the tomatoes, all those things, they're still kind of getting to the point of where I need to harvest them and it's not ready yet. So I'll probably show that in a later clip, but these are ready to harvest and I'm really excited. And I thought it would be exciting to give you guys kind of like an update on my balcony and what it is I'm growing and what kind of um, fruit and veg I'm harvesting. So I am going to go ahead and pick out all of these onions and show you guys my red onion harvest today. If you guys like videos like these and you want to see more of my garden tour, how I garden or gardening tips on a balcony, please give this video a thumbs up so I'm aware that you're interested in content like this. So guys, this has been planted from a little bulb. So onions come in little tiny bulbs and it's been underground because onions do grow underground for about five-ish months now so it's been a long time coming it's my first time planting onions and i'm really keen to see what they're going to look like when i pick them out so before i pick them out actually i think it would be fun if you guys leave a comment down below and let me know how many grams or how many pounds of onions you think i've actually grown this year and i think it's, it's nice to have a little competition i'm really excited to see how many onions i actually get to harvest so let's go ahead and pick out my first onion <laughs> Okay, let's pick out a few more. I don't know how to do this. Do I tear this off now? I don't know. Okay, we'll just leave them all for now and then I'll cut them later. Oh, another little one. Look at my little red onions. I'm so excited. Oh, look at these little babies. <laughs> okay, wait, where's more? I'm not sure. I picked out all the onions that I could from the two baskets. They're little baby onions. Obviously, I'm growing them in little pots and they're not in the ground, but I'm pretty impressed with my harvest. Leave a comment down below what you think this all weighs. I'm gonna actually go and wash them and weigh them and then I'll let you know what the actual weight is. All right, let's weigh out these onions. So right now I'm starting with the scale at zero grams. Let's see how many grams of onions I've got. So in total, I have 555 grams of onions. Did you guess it correctly? So this is just over a half a kilo of onions that I grew on my balcony in a pot so proud. But also, as you can see, there are some smaller onions in here and 
If there are any tips on how to grow onions, can you guys let me know in the comments below because I'm really keen to understand how to grow bigger onions. I know maybe in a pot it was a little bit difficult because of spacing, but if you have any tips for me, leave it in the comments below. But anyways, I'm so proud that I have basically over 550 grams of onions in my first harvest. So guys, I am now gonna pick some of my tomatoes. Now this is just the first harvest. Tomato plants harvest again and again and again throughout the summer, but I do have quite a few orange and red tomatoes and I actually am really craving a tomato salad, so I'm gonna pick it. But regardless, I'm gonna pick some of my tomatoes today and let's try to see what my first harvest weight would be. So I am aiming for nice big red orange or at least as red as they can be when it comes to harvesting also i've learned that when you harvest tomatoes they should be kind of reddish maybe not the full maturity because they keep ripening when you take them off the vine and you want to make sure you pluck them off you don't want to cut them off you don't want to actually remove any of the green part i'll show you in a minute but you're going to want to remove them so the little top leaves actually stay on the tomato so anyways i'm going to pick a few of my tomatoes from my balcony garden today So when you pick the tomato, as you can see here, the top stem as well as the leaves stay on the tomato and that's really important. You're going to want to make sure all your tomatoes have that on top. Also make sure that the tomato is nice and firm. You don't want anything too squishy because if it's too squishy, it's overripe. So you're going to want to make sure they're pretty firm and this nice reddish orange color. Whoa, <laughs> what is wrong with this tomato? So guys, as you can see, I have tons of tomatoes from my first harvest. This is a round tomato, a table tomato. So very typical tomato you would see in the supermarket. And I also have in here the heirloom tomatoes, which are these ones that are kind of funky shaped. And those are super exciting for me. Those are the first time I've grown the heirloom ones. They're a little bit funny shape, but I'm really excited to try them out. But overall, a great first harvest. Now let's go weigh them and see how many grams of tomatoes I just picked. So guys, I have now washed all my tomatoes. Here they are all washed. And now I'm going to weigh them out. So before I start weighing them, let's play another game and let's try to guess the weight of all of these tomatoes. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think the weight of the tomatoes are here. This is my first harvest, so it's a little bit of a baby harvest, but I'm pretty impressed by how many tomatoes I've gotten here. So let's go ahead and weigh them out. Gosh, look guys, 1,716 grams. So that means it is 1.7 kilos of tomatoes already. And this is just my first harvest. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at my tomatoes. Okay, I'm gonna eat them. So guys, it is actually a week since the last clip where you saw me harvesting tomatoes. And now I am actually ready to harvest some of my peppers and my chilies. And I thought it would be fun to show you guys my first harvest of my peppers and my chilies. I have three different types of chilies that I am growing this year. A serrano pepper, a jalapeno pepper, as well as a Thai green chili. And I'm really excited to harvest them and show you guys how much of a harvest I get in my first harvest. Much like my tomatoes that I showed you in the previous clip this is only the first harvest as the summer carries on and as, as long as we have warm weather here in the UK I'm probably gonna get a few more harvests but I'm really excited to pick them for the first time with you guys so let's go ahead and harvest some of my chilies big boy do you want some chilies no you don't want any chilies Look, this one turned red. Seriously, I have so many jalapenos. It's crazy. I'm really excited to see if they're really spicy. I think you're supposed to wait until they turn red, like some of my serranos have turned red, but I'm not sure. 
honestly, this is my first time growing chili, so it's a experience for me to see if they are gonna be spicy. But since I have so many peppers, I'm likely gonna pickle these, but um, they smell, oh, they smell spicy. They smell like they have a lot of fragrance to them. But anyways, these are so far the jalapenos and the serranos. Let's go pick out some um, Thai green chilies. Look how big this guy is. He's massive. So guys, these are all the peppers that I just picked. Again, there's serranos, there's jalapenos, and there's a Thai green chili. And as you can see, it's a full bowl of peppers. There's so many in here. And I'm really curious to see the weight and what my actual yield is when it comes to my first harvest of my first ever chili peppers. Again, these were grown from seeds. So that means they started as a tiny little seed and I planted it and then I was able to get all these crops and then obviously the fruit, which I'm now gonna enjoy. I'm actually so curious what else I can do with peppers other than pickling them. If you guys have any recipes or anything else that you think I should do with this many chili peppers I'm one person I can't eat all this by myself but if you have a recipe that you would suggest for me to try with all these chili peppers leave it in the comments down below so I can uh, try out a new recipe so guys let's go weigh all of these chilies and let's see how many grams of chilies I actually just harvested in my first harvest of the year all right guys so I have washed all of these chilies and I am about to weigh them out right now and cool let's weigh these out so let me just turn on my scale on zero and let's start adding in the chilies so that is all the chilies let's see the weight oh my gosh 532 grams of chilies that is half a kilo of chilies oh my gosh I'm so excited Woo, first harvest, not bad. So excited. So guys, I thought it would be fun to try some of my produce on camera for you guys so you can get my first reaction of trying the produce that I've grown. Again, all of these peppers you see here started from seed and I was able to grow them on my balcony and I'm really excited to now taste test it for you live here on YouTube to see if it's actually spicy because I really want a spicy chili. I want to cook with it, I want to pickle it. I really want a spicy chili. But to give me some encouragement, please give this video a thumbs up so I can feel a little bit encouraged to bite into a raw chili live here on YouTube. So let's cut into this chili and try it live. So I'm gonna cut into this red one. I'm gonna actually cut off the tip and I'm gonna take a piece off the middle here. Let's try this in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's so spicy. Oh my gosh, my mouth is on fire. Okay, okay, I need water. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, give me a thumbs up, guys. I just tried such a hot chili on YouTube. Oh, my mouth is still on fire. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so spicy. Oh. Oh my gosh. Woo! Can't believe I grew that spicy of a chili. I can't wait to cook with that. That honestly, my whole tongue is numb right now. Oh. I'm probably sweating. It's hot. Okay, guys. Anyways, let's get on to the rest of the harvest. So guys, I also harvested another two bowls of tomatoes. And as you can see here, it's two full bowls. Last week when I showed you the last clip, it was just one bowl, but I had so many more red tomatoes this week as I was picking my chilies. And I decided why not pick up some more tomatoes? So this is the actual second harvest, but really I'm including it all together with the previous one. And I'm gonna weigh these out and then I'm gonna add it to last week's total. And then I'll give you a total kilo count of how many tomatoes I was able to grow on my balcony. So in total, that is 1,763 grams for this week. Oh my gosh. 
So guys, when you add up all these tomatoes to my harvest a one week ago, just one week ago, I actually have 3.5 kilos of tomatoes. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how many kilos of tomatoes I was able to grow in my London balcony. And it's only the first or second harvest. There's still at least two more months of tomatoes that I'm able to harvest depending on the weather here in London. But I remember when I grew tomatoes before, I was able to harvest until about November because it was warm but it just really depends on the weather, but maybe I'll actually clear 10 kilos of tomatoes this year. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at how delicious these look. I just wanna eat them. So guys, look at how much of a harvest I got. I cannot believe it. This is all from my London balcony. And also, this is from seeds. If you look around me right now, all of these plants all started from seed, and now I have fruit that I can actually cook and eat with. I'm. I'm just so excited, honestly, this is amazing. Anyways, guys, I am so excited. I cannot believe how much produce I'm able to produce on a balcony. If you guys are thinking about gardening or you wanna give it a shot, honestly, you don't need a lot of space. You just need to have the right setup and just enough sun and water and some love for your plants because I'm so excited that I'm able to grow all these things and cook them now and eat them and enjoy them. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about how excited I am and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and my first ever harvest. If you guys wanna see more harvest and more balcony garden stuff, please subscribe to my channel. I upload two times a week on Sundays and Wednesdays at 5 p.m. GMT. Make sure you turn on that bell notification so you know exactly when I'm uploading a new video. But I will definitely do another harvest for you guys later in the season so you can see how much more produce I can grow on a London balcony. Anyways, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.